How Dinosaurs Came to Rule the Earth We're all well aware of the fact that millions of years ago, our planet was inhabited by giant lizards, the majority of whom scientists have named the dinosaurs. They dominated the land, water, and skies, all the while the distant ancestors to mammals never considered challenging these true masters of the Earth. But thanks to dinosaurs going extinct, those small, wool-covered creatures had a chance to develop and thrive. Incidentally, the dinosaurs themselves replaced some taxa along the evolutionary path, occupying lived-in niches. So what helped these giant lizards get so far up the evolutionary ladder? And why did they dominate the Earth for a long time? The age of dinosaurs was preceded by the aptly named Paleozoic Era, which had lasted nearly 300 million years. During this time, the Earth's climate changed more than once, seas appeared and dried up, and most importantly, thousands of diverse species of living organisms came about and then disappeared. Many animals in this epoch were on par with the dinosaur's size, lifestyle, strength, and voraciousness. At the same time, one could still find rather bizarre and unusual forms of life among them. One of the most interesting species in modern scientists' opinion is the Cynoganthus, who lived at the end of the Paleozoic era. With its hair cover, a three-foot-long body, sharp teeth, and remote resemblance to modern dogs, it's probable this predator was an ancestor of modern mammals. Another ancestor of modern mammals is thought to be the Astemonosuchus. On the outside, this strange creature resembled a cross between a hippopotamus and a rhinoceros with a collar much like a triceratops. To this day, scientists debate whether a Steminosuchus was a herbivore or a carnivore. It reached about 15 feet and weighed nearly half a ton. The marine fauna of the Paleozoic era evolved from trilobites and crustaceans to the ancestors of modern fish. Their evolution, however, often took on strange and even creepy forms. One of the most interesting of such surprises was the species of fish called Helicoprion. Despite their outward resemblance to modern sharks, they are not even remotely related. These giants could reach up to 40 feet in length. The strangest thing, though, was their jaw structure, straight out of a horror movie. Their mandibles had the ability to rotate like a circular saw. Another sea giant during this era was the Dunkleoste. This 33-foot weighed around 4 tons and was covered in thick bone armor. It is thought that its diet was made up of prehistoric sharks, the likes of which the Dunkleoste could bite in half with its powerful jaws. According to researchers, the pressure created by these jaws is comparable to a modern crocodile's or T-Rex. About 250 million years ago, the Permian extinction began, and it's considered the most massive extinction in the history of the planet. The oxygen content in the air and water sharply decreased, the air temperature rose sharply at the end of the beginning of the event, and then a severe cooling followed thereafter. All of these cataclysms led to a painful, slow extinction of nearly all life on the planet over a period of 5 to 15 million years. The ancestors of mammals degenerated to the size of modern rodents and tunneled into burrows. A group of several hundred species of lizards would one day become dinosaurs were the most successful at adapting to the new climate. The Mesozoic Era, which succeeded the Permian extinction, was the heyday of dinosaurs. During the 200 million years it lasted, hundreds of species of the most diverse creatures replaced one another all over the globe. Like all animals that existed before and after the dinosaurs, they were divided into carnivores and herbivores, large and small, and between nocturnal and daytime predators. Each species adapted to new conditions in their surroundings the best they could, which is why evolution provided us with a gigantic array of these reptiles. Undoubtedly, the most popular and recognizable of these dinosaurs was the T-Rex. Due to its large size and terrifying teeth, it was able to gain fame as the most formidable predator of all time. And even though there is an ongoing debate among scientists as to whether it was an ambush hunter or could actually run after its prey, considering its size like in Hollywood movies. But maybe it was a scavenger after all. When we say dinosaur, most of us imagine the T-Rex. One of the most intelligent species of dinosaurs was the Trudon. These small nocturnal predators 
had the largest brains relative to their body size. Until recently, there was even a theory that the evolution of the Trudon led to the emergence of humans. However, this hypothesis was found to be false. Among the herbivore species, the most well-known members of the family were the sauropods. These long-necked giants reached a mass of 100 tons and rarely feared even the largest of predators. Monsters such as the Mosasaurus or giant shark the Megalodon could have easily handled the Diplodocus or Argentinosaurus. But because of their different habitats, these varied species rarely came across one another's paths. However, in the seas of the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, these super predators had no competitors. Sea lizards, Mosasaurs were 33 to 56 feet long and could reach speeds of nearly 12 miles per hour. Combined with their huge jaws equipped with sharp teeth, few people would be able to put up a fight against these monsters. It is true that there are findings of giant turtle shells with traces of Mosasaurs' unsuccessful bites. The extinction of the dinosaurs is believed to have begun when a giant asteroid collided with the Earth. Its contact led to a drastic change in climate, as well as a large number of eruptions and earthquakes. In turn, these events led to a large amount of dust and volcanic ash, which rose into the air and prevented sunlight from reaching the Earth's surface. Despite the fact that dinosaurs are considered to be warm-blooded by modern science, only a few species managed to cope with subsequent cold snap and food scarcity. Perhaps if the falling meteorite had split into several smaller chunks or had merely dropped into the rough ocean, the scale of ecological destruction wouldn't have been so critical for dinosaurs and their distant descendants could still be living on Earth. On the other hand, however, the dinosaurs' extinction enabled the development of mammals and, as a consequence, the emergence of humanity. Thus, if dinosaurs had survived, it's unlikely we would have been able to observe them living, as we ourselves would most likely have never existed. One more thing. According to some theories, life was brought to Earth from outer space. There's also the theory that small fragments of our planet, some which contain life, could have been carried away to other galaxies following the asteroid's impact. Therefore, it's possible that somewhere in space, there's an intelligent race of lizards that evolved from our dinosaurs. On our planet, though, only crocodiles, sharks, turtles, a handful of insects, and a few other living species who witnessed the dinosaurs have survived. And the only officially recognized descendants of said dinosaurs are modern birds. So, if you want to see living dinosaurs, you can go to a chicken farm or feed pigeons in the park. After all, it's quite possible that even without asteroids, dinosaurs would have just evolved into something similar in due time.